If my tangerines are purple, that means they're old and nasty. Anyways, speaking of old rotten fruit, <clears throat> I should have taken that song a little further, but I, I can't do country because like my my brain just is like, no, stop. Like, whenever I hear twanging like that, it's like, I, 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 I can't deal. <clears throat> I just can't deal with it. Anyways, um, so yeah, I want to talk about this. So, they're talking about Manafort, Manafort, whatever the fuck his name is. Um, whatever the guy's name is, who supposedly is getting a plea deal. Now, here's the problem. Here's the, here's the problem. The guy <clears throat> admitted to doing wrong. He's probably going to spend most, if not all, the rest of his life in prison. Okay, they don't just give plea deals to people just because. They give plea deals to people simply because they have something to give, information-wise. <clears throat> that seems relatively important. Well, I got bad news for all the Fox News viewers out there, but... What was he, chief of staff or whatever the hell it was? There aren't too many people higher up the food chain than him. <laughs> okay. I mean, basically you got maybe maybe Kushner and Pence and Trump. That's about it. So if they're going after this plea deal because they think he has some information that's relevant to keep him out of jail for the rest of his life <clears throat> or whatever the plea deal actually is, it's got to be pretty big. <laughs> okay. It, it's got to be up the food chain. They're not, they're, believe me, they're not going to give a damn. They're not going to waste time on, on small fish. Okay. They're not. They're not. And again, you don't get much higher than, than those two guys. There aren't that many people left on the totem pole. Okay. He's like number three. Pence is number two and, and Trump is number one. So, and maybe Kushner's in between there. Okay, so whatever. <clears throat> so, but again, what? Okay, they're going to go after Kushner? Okay. But he's not really... I, I don't know. But I'm just saying, if you're a Fox News viewer and you're, 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 you're pretending there's nothing... He, there's no there there here. There there here, whatever. <clears throat> I'm just, I'm just going to say... Uh, you, you might want to rethink that. Because here's an interesting uh, concept. What if the reason Trump is so adamant about not showing his tax returns, like he is going out of his way, if he's got nothing to hide, what the hell? Now, some people suggest maybe he's not as rich as he says he is, and he thinks, you know, they, they think that might be an embarrassment to him. I don't know. I don't think it matters. He's, he's making plenty of money either way, so it doesn't, you know big deal okay so instead of being a billionaire he's you know a multi-millionaire big deal okay big deal but you know trump does have an ego so maybe it is a big deal to him but give me a break what's more possible logical here is that his tax returns would show that when he goes and does all these buildings and he real estate and builds shit and whatnot, he's got to get money from somewhere. He's not taking it directly out of his own pocket. You know that. So, <clears throat> because he went bankrupt six times, probably no bank would, would loan him money. I would assume that. You go bankrupt six times, as in you don't pay the bills... You, you don't you, you you pay to have work done but you don't actually pay the people you know the the Joe schmoes you, you don't pay Joe the fuck plumber you don't pay that guy you know he's, he's worrying about Obama taking a dollar 39 out of his you know taxes every every year every month every week whatever yet Trump didn't pay him at all so <clears throat> what if and it's simply what if? Instead of getting money from the bank like anybody else because they wouldn't give it to him, he ended up getting in bed with the Russians for potential, oh, I don't know, if he made it into the presidency to 
I don't know, maybe lift sanctions and shit and other certain things like that that he could pull strings on? Who the fuck knows? You don't know. You don't know. He's not going to show his tax return, so... <clears throat> maybe, maybe there's a smoking gun there. Now, the problem is... I mean, the one guy's doing an op-ed piece with a Russian ghostwriter while he's in house arrest for collusion with the Russians. Now, think about that. He's either stupid or he's brazen. It one of the two. There's not much in between. There's not much in between. You got to be pretty fucking stupid to be doing that. But again, it's like, it's like anything else. Like all these sex scandals and shit. Or these sexual assault things you keep hearing about. The problem is, people have this idea that they can do that kind of stuff. Once they start doing it and they get away with it, they think it's just old hat. It's just par for the course. And, you know. And let's be honest, Trump has actually admitted in tweets that he has broken the law. That's how stupid the guy is. He actually admitted, oh, yeah, I fired him because he lied. I mean, he basically came out and said that shit. No, no, basically, that's exactly what he said. I knew he lied, so I fired him. I mean, now, I don't know. I mean, can you take that as advisable under, like, a court of law? I really don't know how that works. I mean, the guy openly admits on Twitter that he knew the guy was breaking the law, yet, you know, he had to fire him. Which, uh, I don't know, man. And if Trump does anything in way of pardon to any of these guys, um, <laughs> yeah, he should definitely be out of office just for that. Because that's fishy shit right there. Because, you know, again, he's the one dude's getting a plea deal. And the guy underneath, he's going to probably roll over. Because he wants a plea deal too. Or whatever. So, I don't know, man. This is some fascinating shit. Now, I will guarantee you. I will almost guarantee you this. No, in fact, I will guarantee you this. That if this shit comes down, and it, I, how do I want to word it? Now, I don't know if there's true evidence that it links directly to Donald Trump, but it definitely directs, like, right at his footsteps, okay? <laughs> like, like, right at his front door. Um, I think, I don't think he's going anywhere, personally. I think he's the fucking Antichrist. I don't think he's going anywhere. If anything, Kushner will take the fall. Although he could be the Antichrist too, so whatever. I don't know. I have no idea at this point. But <clears throat> I think you're going to start seeing, I don't know, maybe five, maybe even five years down the road, if that, maybe, maybe a little more, a little less. And I said, if that, if not, even right away, you're going to start seeing these guys, quote-unquote, uh, commit suicide. I guarantee you, that's what you're going to start seeing. These guys are going to start dropping like flies. I guarantee it. We saw it with Whitewater, and there's, there was even conspiracy links. Not even conspiracy, there were actual links from uh, Whitewater to JFK assassination, that inside job idea. Um... I'm sorry, you watched that video. It, there was, it wasn't just one lone fuck gunman. There's no way those shots lined up with one dude. There was at least another person. At least. If not more. If not multiple more. Because, I mean... Like, you look... Like, like one, I think, hit the ground. Another hit the front of the, the windshield. The other one hit him in the throat. I mean, you watch that shit. There's no way just one dude. And seriously, for fuck's sake, if you watch the video, no, there is no way, no way someone with a moving target beamed him in the head like that. That's almost impractical. 
Especially when you consider the first at least two or three shots missed. So, <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Now, I'm not going to get into conspiracy theories, but... Uh, I mean, that's, literally, that was one in a million shot to hit him in the head like that. And they said it came from behind or something. Whatever. I don't know how... Whatever. That bullet clearly came from the... From the uh, front and I think a little bit to the right. And you see the way it beamed him in the head? His head go... It's just... Holy shit. I mean... Whatever. Whatever. But I don't want to get into that stuff. But I'll tell you right now. I, I'm t I, I believe it beyond a shadow of doubt. You're going to start seeing these guys commit suicide. Vince Foster style. No, I'm sorry. I... I always, it always feels weird when somebody commits suicide. Not that people don't commit suicide, but when you got all these these, these high-ranking people and they just start dropping like flies when you see two or three of them do it back-to-back, -back, that always seems kind of fishy to me. Or you'll see people who were involved in certain scandals or something, and like two or three of them will die in the same day. Like one's, one's in a you know, car accident, another one, you know, whatever. It's, it, it seems very weird. That seems very weird. So. Well, hey, I mean, considering shit, the mafia fucking mob bosses run Washington anyway. That's where they all went. You know, they're not sitting with Biggie Smalls eating dick. You know. Putting, a, you know, putting garlic and in, in Italian seasoning on everything. Okay, they're not doing that shit. This is the 1930s. Okay. This is some romantic era. With little Tommy guns and little little black cars, okay. These motherfuckers are behind the scenes. They are the donors, essentially the the big business owners. They have these these quote unquote legit businesses, that, you know, that they bought with drug money. <laughs> okay, and they are they basically pay pay off the politicians to give us all these tax breaks. Now you say, oh, that's a conspiracy theory. That's not a conspiracy theory. Look up the facts. Those are facts, motherfucker. That ain't me. Now, you you can take it whatever you're worth, but I don't know. It, uh, whatever. So, yeah, Trump is in some serious shit. And, like I said, I don't think he's going anywhere. Like a lot of these liberals are like, "Oh, he's going. He, they're going to take him out and handcuff." Him. I mean, they could if they have if they find a legitimate smoking gun where he is currently he himself is currently in cahoots with Russia, and there's like documented proof. They would take him out in handcuffs for treason. Now, what would happen in that scenario is. It would be too damaging for the country. Blah blah blah. They're gonna say he's got Alzheimer's, which I don't. I don't think Trump would allow that because his ego is too massive. His ego is too massive. Just look at the guy. The smug, arrogant bullshit. People like it. People hate it. I don't care one way or the other in this situation. I'm just stating it for what it is. What's going? He goes. What would happen in that situation? Is it like I said? They would. They would claim Alzheimer's, and he would have his out. Maybe all this stupid shit that he's doing on Twitter, where he's saying all this weird shit, Kofefe, and all this other shit, maybe that's a setup for Alzheimer's as a way out, like, to avoid prison. Or he is just mentally fucking ill. I don't know. Well, I don't even think he knows. So... Like I said, you're not going to see him... He he could resign. A lot of, a lot of liberals want to say, oh, he's going to resign. I don't know, dude. I don't think his ego could allow that. I mean, did Obama resign? No, so he's not going to resign. I mean, no, I don't know, like, what... I don't know what ace up his sleeve he could possibly have. Unless somebody took the fall for him. But, I don't know. <laughs> it ain't looking good for him. 
But, you know, they could find out there's nothing, too. So, again, I'm, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to trash Trump in this sense because, hey, you know what? If there's no proof, there's no proof. What can you do? You know? No, I think there's definitely proof. There's definitely proof. I mean, the one, you know... But you know the one dude's going to save his own ass. Unless he, quote-unquote, commits suicide right before the thing. You know, <laughs> whatever. But, hey. It is what it is. Anyways, I also want to talk about this, uh... This, this whole thing Wednesday... Which is... Oh, shit. It's today, I think. Unless I mean next Wednesday. Trump is going to call Jerusalem Israel's uh, capital, basically. They're, it, it's, it's, you know, they're... What you call it? And he's going to build his uh, temple. Or, excuse me, not temple. Jeez, where, where, where did I get that word from? Huh. He's going to build his embassy. Now I don't know. Does it say that? Does it say in the Bible that the Antichrist has to build a temple? Now we assume there's a temple because there will be an abomination of desolation. Now what does that mean? Now we think of it as okay, they're going to rebuild Solomon's temple and the holy of holies. He's going to walk in there. He's going to sit on the little th mock throne and be like, "I am God." Okay. But that's not where the Holy Spirit is. And even if they rebuild the, the temple, that's not where the Holy Spirit resides. The Holy Spirit resides in the hearts of us. We are the temple. Once the physical building was destroyed, and, you know, Christ tore the veil when he died and rose again, we are the temple. So what is a domination of desolation in regards to the human body? Maybe the mark of the beast. Maybe taking a physical mark and branding yourself, potentially. Or, now I've, I've used the term nanobots before. Because I think what it would do is, I do think there has to be a physical temple of some kind. But I don't know if the Bible actually says that. I have to look that up. That it says an actual temple has to be there. Because I think there will be a possibly a physical temple, but it will also be a spiritual temple, like our heart, if you will. Um, so, I think, I think it's going to be both. Because they really are the same thing, when you think about it. The Holy Spirit is supposed to be in the temple. And of course, if you look at the way it was before, no man could enter the temple. That's why they put the whole thing with the, the term with, uh, with bells on. They'd have these little mock suits on with these little bells, and if they stop hearing the bells jingling, that means the Holy Spirit basically killed the guy. So whatever energy was in that room was pretty potent shit. You know. So, uh, I don't know. Anyways. So, yeah, that's going to be kind of interesting that he's building stuff there. Now, is the embassy a precursor for the temple? I don't know. I I don't know. Could it be in lieu of the temple? I don't know. I mean, basically, I know that the Bible says that the Antichrist will essentially be known when he puts an end to the sacrifices. Um, or whatever. Now, is that the abomination of desolation? I, I don't know. I think there has to be some sort of actual abomination. Stopping the uh, sacrifice is not, to me, an abomination, but I'm not God, so, <clears throat> you know, bastardizing the human, you know, the physical temple of the, the Holy Spirit by a mark or like I said nanobots maybe or something to that effect that makes you less human again like a Darth Vader I don't know that would be abomination of desolation I mean imagine if the reason that people take the mark of the beast 
and can get saved in the end times, in the, the, tribula the Great Tribulation, excuse me, that the reason they can't get saved is because they're no longer technically human. They become something else. Think about that. Think about what that would actually mean. I mean, now I suppose you could... I don't know, this is going to get kind of weird, but... This is... I'm kind of speculating now, but... No, I don't want to go there, because that... It, it's a crazy idea. I was going to suggest, what if... As a collective, we actually agreed to put ourselves into like a uh, virtual reality simulation. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? Like our physical bodies are like here, almost like the Matrix in a way. But our consciousness is in another, and there's no salvation to that. Now think about that. That would be kind of cool too. You could do like a sci-fi spin on that shit. Because the body... It's just an empty shell because the consciousness is in the computer because you have to you'd have to upload it essentially into this virtual reality and there's really nothing to save there because you're technically no longer human. Now in the virtual reality you might have a human body. You might have but it's it's, it's a digital body. It's just your consciousness is living through that. Now think about that. That would be kind of cool. Again, like the Matrix, that would be very cool. Now, were the people in the Matrix humans? Now, yeah, technically they were. But if you're talking a salvation aspect, could they be saved? Did those people within that framework know what that even meant? I don't know. Did those bodies in those those little cubicles, those little pods, did they have a chance to have the Holy Spirit dwell in them? No, they couldn't. So, I don't know, that's kind of a cool idea. I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. I don't believe it, but ah, that could be kind of cool to, to ponder. Because, essentially, especially if you did like a neural network of, of some sort where the consciousness leaves the physical like body... Like, it's no longer bound by the, the five senses. But if you put yourself in a virtual reality that is exactly like this one, that's, like, super, super advanced, and you, you're living your life there and not physically, I don't know, that's kind of weird. That's kind of cool, too, at the same time. I, I don't know how I feel about that. But, yeah, you wouldn't be able to get saved. There would be nothing to save. Because your consciousness is, is, again, in the computer. The computer can't be saved. Because, I mean, once the computer is dead, I don't know. Again, I'm, I'm just toying with this idea. It just, it just came to me and I was like, what? You know, I, mean, I mean this more of like in a sci-fi. Like if you were to take the end times and turn it into like a sci-fi movie. You know, I don't know. That would be kind of cool, actually. I think. But I'm fucked in the head, so don't listen to me. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Is there anything else? I think I'm going to make this one short. Because I don't feel like talking. I'm really not. My, my throat's kind of messed up. You hear it? I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like... I don't know. It feels very very, very tinny, very tinnyish, and I, I don't like that. Very, very annoying. But... Uh, what else is there? Anything else in the news? Uh, dude, I am so sick of going on Facebook. Literally, I have three types of posts that I find. Well, f no, five. I got a lot of WWE shit. I got a lot of video game shit. I got a lot of gay Muslims who want to post selfies with themselves in like these these psychedelic rainbow uh, backgrounds. I got fat women, like like obesely nasty, icky women, who want to wear a two piece and flop around, and then sit there and say, you know, you 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 you, you shouldn't body shame me, even though I'm in a fucking two piece, like a stuck like a fucking idiot. 
I mean, literally, put an apple in your mouth, you're done, bitch. I mean, seriously. You're like a little oinker in the fucking pot. You're done. No, I'm in no position to be making, you know, claims about size and all that shit. But I'm not out there running around with my shirt off talking about don't body shame me. Dude, I'm sorry. You got a body that looks like that? You should be shamed. <laughs> okay, if you ain't ashamed, then there's a fucking problem. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed for you. I'm ashamed for you in the sense that you can't figure it out. Okay. And I constantly get that shit posted on my fucking Facebook. Like I scroll down, there's this fat woman. And the fucking shit's animated. It's not just a picture of a fat girl. And I got nothing against fat girls. Listen, it, like there was this one, and she was in this track suit, and she was, she was jogging. And people were fat shaming her. Okay, that's, I think that's wrong. That I think is wrong. Because she's trying. She's trying. She's out, she's out exercising. She's doing more than I'm doing. She's probably doing more than most of the people complaining about it are doing. So I give her credit. Now, she's running around in a two-piece with her gut flapping and she's running down the street. I got a problem with that. I got a problem with that. I don't want to see your flap. I got enough of my own flaps, okay? Like, some of that shit you gotta lift up and hose off. I mean, it's, that's how bad it is. Okay. This is, you know, I'm talking to the choir here. You know exactly what I'm talking about if you're even mildly obese. Okay. So, give me a break. So, all these freaking people who want to post this shit and be like, Oh, it's so great. Good for her. Good for her standing up for herself. No, there's no standing up for yourself. When you're a 400 pound woman, I'm sorry, when you're a 400 pound woman, the term pretty and pink just don't apply. It just don't fucking apply. That's a lot of goddamn pink. Now, give me a break. And the last thing I see on my Facebook feed is Donald fucking Trump. So you got fat girls, Donald Trump, gay ass Muslims, gay ass wrestling, and fucking video games. And sometimes I go on and I'm like, why am I even here? I mean, I could be sitting and watching paint dry and having more fun reading some of that stuff. Because that shit, it just irritates me. You got Donald Trump acting like a fucking idiot. You got the Republicans acting like fucking idiots. You got the Democrats acting like fucking idiots. And then there's fat girls dancing and shit. No, I'm sorry. You know? Now, if you're, if you're a fat girl and you, you are dancing, I don't even really necessarily have a problem with that, per se. But you're sitting there with your, your shirt up and you're flapping your gut and you're like, hey, bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, that's when you got to call that shit quits. That's when you got to put the kibosh on that shit. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. Oh, and if it ain't that, it's old slags in her breasts. Oh, my God. I'm not a breastfeed, my baby. Like, that fucking woman who took a picture of herself and had the big big kerfuffle about her breastfeeding her, her spawn at Disneyland, or Disney World, whichever one it is. Now, the woman clearly, clearly was in decent exposure with that shit. The, she had on, like, this, this tank top that was so, like, stretched out that she could, literally her tits were hanging out. And they were floppy tits, too. Not, like, nice perky tits. They were they were nasty, slaggy tits, is what they were. Okay, they weren't even... They didn't have any shape to them. Now, if they're attractive tits, I could deal with it. Like, hey, move the kid over and give me an eyeful. I could deal with that. Well, like, these, mo these bad fucking mothers, dude. Some of these people are horrible human beings. They're using their kids as political fucking props... Talking about this, that, and the other. With big smiles on their faces. They're taking pictures of their tits hanging out. No, I'm sorry. You're doing it for the wrong fucking reason. No, I'm sorry. You're feeding your child. It's a beautiful, wonderful, intimate thing. Do it. Go find a shady spot. Do it over there. Don't make a scene. Okay? Because some of these people want to make a fucking scene because they want to they want to be seen and they want people to know and say, Oh, look at that. Look at that. And they want to cause a ruckus. Okay. Now, I mean, what better way to cause a ruckus than run around the subway station with your pants off? Now, if I took off my pants in the subway and I'd say have my dick flapping around, but I ain't seen my dick in 25, 30 years. 
Okay, I haven't seen it. I don't even know if it's still there. But like a normal person goes out there and flaps her dick around. Oh, that's that's you know, that's horrible. That's that's you know, sexual misconduct and shit. That, that's sexual assault. He showed his penis. Yet these women are flapping their tits out like nothing. Oh, it's because they're just bathing. They're, they're feeding their baby. No, they're not feeding their baby. They're feeding their ego. They're feeding their ego. Now, d listen, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be an asshole about this. But just on a side note. If you, seriously, if you, if you can't fucking feed the kid before you go into, you know, Chuck E. Cheese... You can't sit in the fucking car or on your way to the car and feed the fucking kid. You know, before you go to Pizza Hut. You really need to sit in the fucking Pizza Hut with your tits hanging out? I mean, really? You're telling me for like 45 minutes to an hour you can't, you know, chloroform the kid or something? I mean, seriously? Really? Really? Pretend it's Florida. Chloroform the kid. And then go party. Okay? Like Casey Anthony, a fucking bitch. Now, I don't know, it's, 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 because, listen, I understand sometimes the kid doesn't want to do what the kid's supposed to do, I get that, and sometimes you got to, I understand that, I get that, but seriously, you tell me for like 45 minutes, you, you can't just, just stop, like, I, I'm sorry, I don't want to go to Pizza Hut and be reminded of other people's problems, you know, like, I don't want to see ugly slag woman with slaggy ass tits and an ugly baby suckling mucus, I, I just don't want to see it when I'm trying to eat, Eat my pizza and, 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 you know, whatnot. Especially if you get one of those, like, milky dishes. Like, like imagine, seriously, imagine getting, like, clam chowder. And then you see this nasty, ugly baby. Because the baby looks like the mother, and the mother ain't much to write home about. And they're sucking, and the kid's sucking nipples. And it starts spitting up, and there's this white sputum cum all over the kid's face. The tits are all cum stained. And you're looking at this, you look over and you get an eyeful of this while you take a big bite of clam chowder. And that fucking slimy ass piece of clam just flaps around on your tongue. And you're watching this fucking kid. And the mother just whips her tit into his mouth. Holy Christ. Control yourself. Control yourself. For 45 fucking minutes when you're in public, control your shit. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It isn't like you're in a restaurant and all of a sudden your bowels let loose and you're like, oh my god, I just shit myself. And you have to walk by everybody waddling with shit dripping down your leg. Okay. Now that's fucking gross, but you could deal with it because it's just unex you know, unexpected. But okay, if your kid's hungry, okay, so why not go somewhere, you know? Why not take the kid to the bathroom? Freshen up, you know? That's what it's there for. It's called the restroom. I, and like, I'm sorry. I, I, that bothers me. And I'm sorry that it bothers me. Now, don't get me wrong. If a woman's sitting in the, in the little booth and she's eating her pizza and the kid's sucking on the other end and she's, you know, she's minding her own business, I don't have a problem with that. I have no problem with that. None. It's these women who stand up on the table and just like rip off their shirt and her tits are like literally down past their navel and the kid is just swinging by her knees. And, like, there's no harness, no safety. The kid is just, just nubbing from the mouth and just swinging. And she's like, I have given my child suck. Everyone must look. Look upon the child giving suck. Don't you dare chastise me. It is my right to do so. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you and your ego. Check your shit at the fucking door. This is Pizza Hut, motherfucker. This ain't old slaggy welfare trailer whore of the week bullshit. Fuck you and that stuff. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, again, a woman's mildly attractive, maybe. I could deal with it, because it's like... Uh, you know. But I admit... I admit, it's a two-way street, because, again, if she's attractive, I'm not all for it, especially if she's making a scene, and you know the type I'm talking about, you know the ones who are purposely out there to, 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 to like, propagate this idea that it's okay, and I don't have a problem with it per se, what I have a problem is, is people's attitude about it, that because they have a child, 
and that child has to suck off my nipple at this exact second while you're standing there that everybody else has to cater to their bullshit. Now, I'm sorry. No, if, if, if I'm in Pizza Hut and my balls itch, I'm not going to whip my balls out and be like rubbing them on the fucking edge of the table because they itch. Okay, you excuse yourself, you go into the bathroom and you fill your nuts. That's what you do. Okay. Okay, that's what you do. That's what a, that's what a normal person does. A per, normal person doesn't sit there and think, how can I turn this into a big political fucking event so, so I can make a political point with my spawn? That is simply a bad motherfucking mother. That is a bad mother. Okay? It is. Now again, the woman's in the corner. She's minding her own business. She's not making a scene. She's just kind of like, oh, the kid's here. I'm here. You know, hand me a slice of pizza. And I'll slap the kid in the back of the head with it and grease fall down his face. Okay? The little hair gets all matted up with the oils and greases and shit. Okay? That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. I am not anti, you know, breastfeeding. I'm anti-nasty bitch slag fucker. That's what I'm against. I'm against trailer trash women who think just it's okay because it's them and they have a right to do whatever the fuck they want to do. I'm sorry, you don't. You don't have a right to do whatever you want to do. You don't. Eating clam chowder. And that's just nasty, nasty, nasty shit. I mean, God, have some fucking fucking self-respect and dignity for yourself. I mean, come on. Nobody else will do it for you. I tell you right now. Jesus. Like, seriously, of all the fucking nasty shit I could think about... Wanting to get an eyeful, like randomly, like out of the blue, like you just kind of look over and, ugh, and there's a kid spitting up, and not only that, making suckling noises too, and you hear that shit from across the way, and then once you see it, you can't get it out of your fucking head, and then it's like, are you fucking kidding me with this shit? Are you fucking kidding me with this shit? I'm trying to, I'm, I'm out with the, with my friend or my family. I'm trying to enjoy the afternoon. I'm trying to have a little pizza, or a little clam chowder, or whatever the fuck it is I'm eating. Spaghetti. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And you just get an eyeful. And again, it's, it's like one of those smells. It once it's in your nostril, it doesn't go away for like the rest of the day. And you think, am I smelling, am I, is somebody cooking toast or did somebody shit their pants? What am I smelling here? Because this burnt, seriously, burning toast and pooping your pants is not that far off from smell-wise. That's all I'm going to say on that. And you know it's a fact. Burnt toast and poop. Oh, God. I don't know why it irritates me. Well, no, I do know why it irritates me. It irritates me because the, the individual people... Like, I don't go out in public and think, well, okay, I'm in public now, and whatever I feel like exposing to the world is okay because you shouldn't body shame me. Now, I'm sorry. If I go into the local store and I fire off my shirt, and I run around half naked, you know, no shirt, no shoes, no service. Well, hey, how dare you body shame me? How dare you? No, I mean, seriously. And like these pregnant women, oh, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. Listen, I understand. Every woman does the stupid selfie in front of the mirror. I get that. I get it. I get it. There's a difference. There's a difference between a normal woman doing it and these people who just are nasty and who want to make a production out of it. It irritates me. I'm sorry. It just does. And then they post it. They don't post it just to just their personal blog. They post it and they want it to go viral because, oh, I am eight months pregnant and my, my girth birth baby is just like, blah, 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 kicking and shit. And you see it moving around in there like the fucking alien. Holy Christ. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, uh, I, that, that, I don't, that one creeps me out a little bit, though. Babies just creep me out. Oh, kids in general creep me out. Kids in general are evil. Okay, fuck that shit. They're in tune to the fucking wicked of the world. That's all I'm going to say on that. And you know it's true. They are in tune to, like, weird shit. They're like cats and, and Egyptian uh, pharaohs and shit. They're in tune with weird fucking uh, paranormal shit that I can't explain. Like, there's this one... Uh, 
I don't know if it's a video. I can't remember if it's a video. Well, there's a, there's a bunch of different variants. So there's videos, um, there's memes and shit. But some of them are like, like there are lists and shit. Like the scariest things the kids have ever said. And dude, there's some fucking dillies out there. There's some legit fucking dillies out there. There's some kids who have said some outlandish fucking shit. Some like just just off the wall. Like like I worship Satan and shit kind of off the fucking wall, like, I'm gonna eat your fucking soul and, and, and rape your shoes because I worship Satan kind of terminology, it's, it's just, kids are wicked, dude, they are, they may not intend to be, but they are, you know they are, no, is it because they have a childlike faith or is it because there's something wrong with them, I don't know, I don't get kids, I really don't. I'm never going to be able to physically have kids myself, so, especially with, like, the spine of Bethany and shit, but, I don't know, dude, kids are weird, kids are just fucked up, and I know it seems like a good idea, like, oh, I need to bring, you know, I need to birth and have a child, and bring it into the world, okay, so I can reject God and go to hell, okay, listen, I get that, I get that, it's your prerogative, I get it. But, you know, whatever. See, you know, actually, that's one thing I don't never understood about abortion. Is, why is it okay to not have the abortion, have the kid come into the world, have the Republicans who want him into the world then reject him and say you're on your own as we ain't pay we're not going to pay anything to help you survive until you're 18 or whatever we're not going to give you health care we're not going to give you any of these things you're going to die alone and bitter and angry you're going to reject god and you're going to go to hell versus you know that handful of cells that have eyes and a heartbeat well we just took a coat hanger shoved it through its fucking throat and ripped off its legs, you know, I don't know, which is worse, I mean, really, when you think about it, what's worse, you either annihilate the kid now, and the kid has no choice, so maybe if there is a God, God has some, you know, some sympathy for an unborn fetus, who really had no chance to make it, or, you know, a six-year-old dude who's just better and hates the world, and it's going to go to hell anyway. So, what difference does it make? What difference does it make? You know these Christians who want to save all these fetuses, they sure shit ain't witnessing to them when the kid's 18. They're calling them, they're, they're calling them you know, trailer trash and, and, and you know, pissed and complain that they're taking tax money. That's what it comes down to. Bring them into the world and, you know, call them a, call them a taker, basically. So, I don't know how I feel about that. But, that's neither here nor there. But yeah, seriously, I... Honestly, though, my beef with, like, abortion... Is... To me, it's a long-term issue. Like, you're not just killing one person. You know, Cain killing Abel, he didn't just kill Abel. He killed Abel's entire lineage, because Abel would have grown up to have children... Multiple children, like more than like, like I don't know if he had, he must have had some, or something. I don't know, but whatever. Like he could have lived much longer had and had a bunch of kids. So you're talking, you're not just killing one life. You're killing multiple generations because every one of those kids would have had kids and they would have had kids and so on and so forth. I mean, think about that. You literally rewrite history, rewrite time itself when you kill someone. No, you kill an 80-year-old man, yeah, not so much. You kill grandma because she's a bitch. You know, <laughs> it's just, you know, hey, hey, you know she's a bitch. She's, you know, she, she means well, but she's a bitch. You know it. It's a fact. You know? She's a bitch. Grandma's a bitch. You know? She got run over by a reindeer. She's a bitch. The reason that shit happened, you reap what you sow. That's why grandma got run over by the reindeer, because the bitch reap what she sow. 
I don't know what the fuck she's been doing in the bingo hall to reap and to reap and get run over by a fucking reindeer. But that's some serious shit to be having happen to you. You know what I'm saying? That, that's some fucked up shit. No, I mean I thought I was having a bad day. <clears throat> but anyways, um, what else do I want to talk about? You know what? Fuck it. I don't want to talk about anything. I, I don't want to talk about anything. Um, let me think. Is there anything I could talk about? Let's see. I think I have about sixty bucks left to my name. And I bought Christmas gifts for everybody. Now, if, if for some reason anybody's listening to this on YouTube, I'm, I'm talking to a friend and I'm posting it to YouTube because I have, like, nowhere else to post this shit because, like, all my drop boxes are, are, are full of shit. So I have, like, no space and YouTube is free. So I'm posting to YouTube right now until I can find some place to post that, uh, you know, whatever. Anyways... <clears throat> So I figured I'd get Dale T and Betsy. I bought Dale T three pounds of Tootsie Rolls. That was like 11 bucks. Which, usually what I do is I send this... Oh, you know what? I should have done shit. I should have sent it to my house. And I could take like two of those fucking uh, pounds and give him a pound. He don't need no three fucking pounds of that shit. I don't know that I need two myself, but I'm paying for this shit. I could have had like a whole tin of Tootsie Rolls, because, well, they come in a bag, I put them in a tin, and what I do, I take half of them out, or, I actually, I take two-thirds of them out, put them in a fucking tin, and put his into a smaller tin, and be like, hey, look at all these Tootsie Rolls, he didn't know that I bought three pounds of that shit, as long as the little tin is full, he don't give a fuck, <laughs> as long as he's got enough he can jam into his pocket when he goes hunting, he don't give a fuck, you know, <laughs> you know, up in the fucking tree for it, suckling on it, suckling on this. She's like the fucking baby suckling on the big tits. <laughs> Dale T sucking on a Tootsie Roll. Just, it literally is the same image. It literally is the same image. Imagine a, a, a almost 70 year old man suckling on <laughs> suckling on Tootsie Rolls up in a tree stand somewhere in the middle of upstate New York in his little, little camouflage gear in his orange gloves. You know what I mean? <sighs> So, hey, whatever. I don't make the rules. So, I got him three pounds of Tootsie Rolls. Like I said, I should have sent the shit to my house because he's coming up next week or two weeks from now. And I could have given him the shit then and had Tootsie Rolls for two weeks. Even though I'm, I'm not a big Tootsie Roll fan. I actually had rather have gotten the uh, saltwater. Dude, I bought saltwater taffy. Holy fuck. Was, was it a three pound? No, it was a three pound bag. I ate that shit within a weekend, dude. I ate three pounds of it within a week. Weekend, excuse me. I got it like on Friday and by like Sunday night it was all gone. I fucking, dude, I went ham on that shit. My poop was like this bitter green. It was sweet and smelt good, but it was, <laughs> holy shit. It was like, it was green, dude. And not like a nice pretty green. This was like a forest green, like like felt. It looked like felt. If you've seen dark felt, that's what it looks like. And even it was kind of fuzzy looking. It was it was questionable. I'm surprised I didn't get diabetes. Dude, I am legitimately surprised that my kidneys didn't give out. And my liver and shit. Okay. Anyway, so I bought him three pounds of Tootsie Rolls. And I bought, I bought Betsy these uh, crackers because every fucking year he'll bring me, he'll bring me a, a card with money in it, and then oh, you're so dang Betsy, you're so dang Betsy. Like, how? What am I gonna thank Betsy? What, what? What am I gonna call her up? I don't call anybody. I, I don't, dude. I've got such a phobia with the phone. I don't even order pizza on the goddamn thing. I ain't calling Betsy at all. I ain't even talk to her. I ain't writing her a fucking letter. So what I do is I go online and I buy her these fucking crackers. They're like 10, 11 bucks. These little, these little crackers with the peanut butter. I know she takes them to work. And that seems to suffice. Everybody's happy, you know. You know, you gotta reap what you sow. I, 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 I could, I could say some horrible stuff, but I'm gonna reap what I sow. So I sent them a gift. I sent the motherfuckers gifts. Okay, gifts. 
I bought them gifts. Cost me like 25 bucks, but whatever. Whatever. Anyways, <clears throat> I then went to uh, Subway to get. Um, well, I wanted to try their buffalo chicken sub. And I wanted to get gift cards for Mary and Cindy and have kind of like a little, you know, thank you for helping me out throughout the year. Here's here's a $10 gift card. Go eat a fucking sub. Right? <clears throat> well, I get in there and a woman, and she's a ginger, by the way. She's like ginger through and through. Like soulless to the, to the nth degree, okay? Sweet girl. She's a nice girl. I don't know who the fuck she is. I've never seen her before. I've never, I've never actually been in... Actually, no, I, no, I was in her a couple times like five years ago. Or three years ago. Four, no, it was four years ago. Maybe. Whatever. But it was a while. I had not been in, in that place in a long time. So I have no idea who this woman is. I have no idea who she was. She's a nice girl, though. I'm not going to try. I mean, I, I kid about the, the soulless part. But you know what I mean. She was that gingery. <laughs> Like she's any more ginger, she snap. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say on that. <clears throat> um, and I, at first thing, I, she, she's gonna help me. I said, "Do you do gift cards?" Like, she's like, "Yeah." And I said, "I don't." I said, "She's like, well, come over here to the register because I'm because you have to go over where the meats are or where the uh, well, yeah, where the meats are to start your, your order." So it's like, like wait here, and then they kind of go down the line and they fix your shit and you go to the cash register at the other end. Well, she's like, well, come over here to the other end, and we'll, we'll get you set up. So she reaches over. I didn't even see the cards. They were, like, right there in front of me. I didn't even see it. Now, one thing that is pissing me the fuck off, this is a side note, these fucking debit cards, credit cards, all this shit, they have these fucking chips in them now. They have these goddamn fucking chips in them, and every one of the fucking readers, instead of sliding the card, you gotta nickel and dime the fucker up the ass, up the side. I don't know if I don't know if it's a New York State thing or what, but it never fucking works. Never. I have never had that shit work. Now I don't know if it's just because it's new technology or new whatever, and the, the women who work there, because a lot of women work behind there, a couple. Occasionally a guy or two, but usually it's women who work behind the cash register. They don't know how to work the shit. And they always have trouble with it. So anyways, I'm just sitting there. And she's running the one card. And then she's running the other card. And she's like, oh, insert it this way. And I'm like, okay, boom. And then I had to ask her, after like the 15th time of insert the card, please. I'm like, okay, am I, am I putting it in right? It, has, it goes this way? She's like, yeah, it goes that way. I was like, okay, good. And problems just problems thankfully there's nobody in there but i had just been shopping my back is fucked up and dale t's gotta have that fucking stupid truck why he didn't get the stupid truck with the runners so that you can put your foot on the fucking thing and like hop into the vehicle i literally have to put my left ass cheek up there and pray to christ i can slide like we're talking like literally crotch slide across this edge of the seat which uh, and it hurts my back every fucking time. And I have to get in the vehicle, drive down the hill, go to the Great American, get out, go into the store, get all the stuff I need for two weeks, two and a half weeks, whatever. Then come out, load all the stuff back up. I actually put it all onto the, the conveyor belt there. Put it in the damn cart. And you gotta understand, I got a bad back, so at this, whole, at this point, everything's all fucked. And then I have to then go out to the car, pile everything into the back of the damn thing, or truck, and pile everything into the back of it, and then try to widget my fucking ass back into the vehicle. Only to go down a few feet to fucking dollar store, hop back out, which is like, every time I, I it's like literally free fall, I don't know why the fuck he had to get a goddamn truck that's so f dude it oh my god it's this ford hillbilly new york upstate skinnerville camden bullshit the camden mentality it's like you can't get a normal fucking truck 
Why they even make the truck like this <clears throat> is beyond me. It is the single worst fucking design I have ever seen. Like, literally, when I'm sitting there, the... Whatever the fuck it's called, the... the, the not doorknob, but the... Uh, whatever it is to open the door, the handle, and the, the, the little uh, adjustable window... The electric window. That shit is like down by my thigh. It's almost like a fucking captain's chair. And the window is like this weird box. Like I could, like if I just turned my head, I could fall out the fucking door or fall out the window. It is the weirdest goddamn design I've ever seen. And it's like 300 feet off the fucking ground. Why they didn't build it with a fucking runner. You know, they had those runners down there where you put your foot up there and you step on. Now, if I could step up there and get my ass into the seat, I'd be okay. <sighs> so, whatever. So, anyways, all that, my back is kind of bothering me and I'm like, oh, Jesus. So, anyway, she's like, well, let's let's get your sub. You know, like, okay, let's get the sub. Now, I'm going to tell you something and this is a glitch in the fucking matrix and it fucking pisses me off. Why do people sell shitty fucking meat? Why? And they do it all the time. This, and it is, I'm not talking, no, 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 let, let me go through this. So, when I was at Great American, they had, on sale, they had the saline ham, which is always good, and they had some sort of turkey on sale. Now, you gotta be leery with the turkey, because very few turkey actually look and taste like turkey. Most of it looks like Pale, gray, processed, slimy ick. Well, of course, the fucking turkey that I got that was on sale. Of course, you can buy turkey on sale. What the fuck do you expect, eh? So, so <sighs> essentially, what we have here is turkey, quote unquote, I say quote unquote, that tastes like tofu fuck is what it tastes like it tastes like clay it tastes like processed pressed clay white pasty clay that's what it tastes like and just slice it off at the sheet and it's slimy and it's awful ugh I, I'm probably gonna give there's like five pounds there's five dollars worth of that shit I'm probably gonna give it to a fucking dog anyways so you got the turkey that tastes like tofu fuck but right next to it, you have the chicken, which actually tastes like turkey. And I go in to the dollar store, and I get the canned chicken. The chi and not the chicken and the sea stuff, but they have this, this can well, it's canned chicken, basically. You open that shit up, it tastes like tuna. It tastes like tuna. Chicken tastes like tuna. Turkey tastes like tofu shit fuck. The other, like, sliced chicken tastes like turkey. The canned chicken tastes like tuna. And then I go into Subway and I get the, the buffalo chicken. And the chicken tastes like tuna. Now imagine putting buffalo sauce on you, putting hot buffalo sauce, hot, hot, <laughs> hot sauce on your goddamn tuna fish. Oh my god, that. <sighs> Oh, God. God, have mercy. It's like, why are people fucking with my meats, bro? Why? Why? Why do people have to fuck with my meat? No, I got some meat you could fuck with if you're an attractive woman. This is not what we're talking about here. <sighs> Anyways... So, what was I? Oh, it's talking about Christmas gifts. So, anyways, I went in there. I, once I got the fucking sub, and she put the sub in, and then started fucking around, she got me new cards. Because apparently the first one, she's like, oh, let's try some different ones. So, we, we tried the different ones. I was like, okay, fine. So, now I got I got two gifts for those two guys. I got gifts for Dale T and Betsy. Um, now, I'm sending you some shit, but I don't know. You understand? I got like 40 bucks to my name. And I want to send the package, but I don't think I'm going to be able to send it now. Because I don't think I got money. 
I'm certainly not going to have money until like the 17th. Unless Dale T gives me some Christmas money, which he probably will, but I don't know. I'm not counting on it. I'm not counting on like 100 bucks. The one time he only gave me like 60. And that's all the money we had. <laughs> okay, so I, you know, until it's in my hand, I ain't, you know, pfft. but either way. That's what I do. I, I'm, I, I, got an, I got a couple ideas. I don't know. I might spend about 20 bucks and send you an Amazon package too. So, whatever. Then I'll send you the rest of the stuff later. But, that being said, um, I got everybody shit. Oh, I got the dog some stuff too. First off, he, he's a bastard. First off, he likes chewing on his fucking collar. I don't know how he does it. Now, these fucking collars. I I can't do regular collars like the kind that look like belts. And the one that's got the little straps and slides and stuff. I can't do that shit. I like the little black chokers. They have the little ring. And they got that nice little... Uh, whatever that stuff is. That, that material. And they're, they're nice chokers. Well... He, because he's such an awkward little man, he is size 15 inches. He's 15 inches. Well, they don't usually sell 15 inches. They sell 14. They sell 16. 14 is too small. 16, too big. He is literally a 15. So getting a 15 inch is very difficult. Now, they do have the thicker size. I don't like the thicker size, but it seems to be the one that they always want to give me. They always want to give me the thicker one. I like the thinner one at 15 inches. There's like a 3 8 3 5 something like that. Whatever it is. Well, anyways, so, I, so sometimes, because if it's 16 inches, sometimes it dangles down, and he kind of does this thing with his jaw and his neck, and nah, 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 nah. And he gets it wrapped around his fucking, you know, like in his mouth, and he starts, nah, 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 starts gnawing on it. And he had chewed it, he had chewed it, and it was like fraying and stuff, and it just, it was just, I mean, it looked like Simba, it looked like some fucking lion's mane, except it's this blue yarn, it's just firing off in all directions. Think of like a little mini solar flare, it's just like, they're just, like, all over the place. So I was like, you know what, motherfucker, I even said to him, he came up to me, he laid on my chest. I'm laying on the bed. He kind of like, like presses into my chest. He looks at me. And I said, I think Santa's going to bring you some stuff. He's going to bring you a new collar and some treats. And he got all excited. I mentioned Santa. He literally got excited. It was it was like one of those uh, moments, you know. So I bought him these fucking treats that he likes. And it, I know, it just didn't work out. If something just didn't click. So I was like, fuck it. So I went and bought him one of those Christmas stockings. And I wanted to give him the one that had a little Santa Claus in it, but that was like 20 bucks, or like 17 bucks. I was like, yeah, fuck that shit. So I got the $10 one. It's got a little plastic newspaper squeak toy. I think there's a ball in there. I think there might be like a, a treat, like a rawhide of some sort. And I think there's some other stuff. Now he's gonna chew that shit up in like half a second. But I think what I'll do, if there's like any plush stuff, I'll let him chew that shit up outside. Okay, because there's snow out there. You ain't going to see the white, the cotton. And if it's there in the springtime, it'd be like, oh, blame it on the birds, right? <laughs> okay, fuck that, right? <clears throat> so, that's what I got him for Christmas. Now, what pisses me off about this dog is, I don't know why I buy him toys. I really don't. Now, he does like his little football. Now, what happened with the football, and it pisses me off, I bought him a football, he lost it. I bought him another one, he lost that. I bought him a third one. Next thing I know, he comes up to me with the football, because what he'll do is, if, I've, if I'm doing something on the tablet, he'll come up and he'll, like, come around the side of the tablet and, like, look me in the face. And sometimes he'll have, like, a toy or, or something that he's chewing up, like a plastic bottle or something or whatever. And he'll, like, put it in my face, and he'll, he tries to squeak it. So, he, like, you he he see his mouth, and it's like, crinkle, 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 crinkle. And he's trying to squeak it like a toy. And I was like, I don't know if he understands that it's not a squeak toy, or if he just likes the, the crinkle, crinkle sound. I don't know. I think it's a crinkle sound, because he loves pop and bubble wrap and shit. Oh, he loves that stuff. 
he goes fucking ham on that stuff. The last couple times uh, Cousin Cindy were, was here, I had some boxes out by the steps. And we had the baby gate in front of the steps. She was on the other side talking to me. And the dog was out here, out there with us. And I had a box from, like, Amazon. Now, they have they don't have, like, the little poppers, the little, you know, pop, pop, pop ones. They have those big, like, cushions, like those air pumped cushions these big strands well it was a box and they had that well she grabbed it and was like hey here and she just like threw it up in the air and the dog is just running all over the place popping in here pow 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 and these are like loud pops too and he's just having having good time with the shit <sighs> but what pisses me off is that I don't need to spend money on him at all I could literally go and get a plastic tea bottle and give it to him and give him an ice cube and it's like Christmas in the house he oh he loves fucking ice cubes dude he loves ice cubes I give him an ice cube he just runs through up the fucking house with it it's like this this greatest treat ever and I'm like okay man whatever that's what it takes to float your boat here you go I mean I could I, I wish everybody was that easy to shop for. You know? Now, I am a little bit pissed because November's Loot Crate and Loot Pet still has not arrived, and I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know where the hell it is, but I do know that it's pissing me off because this is, what, December 6th, 7th, whatever the fuck it is? That Wednesday, whatever it is? That shit was supposed to be here like the 22nd. 23rd. That shit's over. That's like two weeks late. Now, I know there was Thanksgiving and stuff, but... It pisses me off. Because he loves his loot crates. He absolutely loves his loot crate. Like, he sees the box. He knows the box. He knows it. He loves opening boxes and shit. It's fucking crazy. He's a crazy-ass little beagle, man. I tell you. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I got I got uh, Christmas gifts. We're ready for Christmas. Uh, I don't really do Christmas anymore. I used to like, well, when I when I came here, anyway, I should say, I used to put a few things up, and now it's like I, I got to put it up. I got to put it. I got to take it down. So I did have a little light tree that I hadn't. That I basically just left in the window all year, and then when it was December, I just plug it in. It was this little tiny like. I don't even, I don't even know what. I didn't think it was like a, a three footer. It was more, more like a foot and a half. It actually, was I think it was like a foot and a half, or something, or two. Or two you no, know, maybe it was about a two, three footer. It was big enough to fit in the window. A little tiny, little, little, little tiny thing. You plug it in, and it was. Um, what do you call those things? Those uh, fiber opt, yeah, fiber optic ones. And you get it for like fifteen, twenty bucks at Walmart. I put it up. Yeah, it's fun. You know, it is what it is. But I just don't have time for it anymore. I don't. I don't really celebrate Christmas anymore. I mean, we do. We used to put up like like tinsel and and angels and shit up on the tree. And we had it all. And it's like because that shit was fun. Because to do it, we had to go up in the attic. And the attic was... Oh, dude, that, that attic in the Tabor Estate was so freaky. Oh, my God. <laughs> just just freaky as fuck. Because it wasn't even really like a, a full attic. It was... It was basically just a little area at the top of the house, you know? There was no real floor. So there was like these planks. Almost like uh, Clark when he's running around on the planks. It was kind of like that. But oh my god, there was there was some there was some weird shit up there, man. It was like this weird, weird, weird thing. And we had this old Christmas tree, and it was one of those six foot Christmas trees, like the big honking ones. I wonder what we ever did with that. I don't know if that's still there. I don't know if Dale T even took. He probably sold it or something. Uh, anyways. 
I wanted to tell you the story. No, I don't want you to get all like, ooh, this, ooh, ooh, ooh. but I wanted to tell you the story. No, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stop this clip. I'm gonna tell you the story in another clip because this is too long, and I, I wanna, I wanna make the clip because it's it's an old woman story, and I kind of just want to keep it separate. So, anyways, fuck you. I don't wanna talk anymore.